How do you make a tissue dance? Well, you put a little boogie in it. What's going on, YouTube? Today, we're going to break down September 4th. It was a pretty big day on ESO. Not only did it add a brand new gold method for us on console, which is going to be exceptionally lucrative, and hopefully the reason you clicked on this video, there's also a brand new 499 pack. And notably, there was something missing that was supposed to be announced today that wasn't. So we're going to break all that down and more in this video. And I want to start first with the tax write-off. I mean the 499 housing starter pack. Now, notably, you not only get the items that we're going to review here in a moment, but you do also get 800 crowns, which is just important to note because that's actually decent money for value. But you also get the housing starter pack, which we're going to break down. Obviously, it gives you a new home, but we're going to look at it. But I also just want to break down 800 crowns is decent money for value because for $5 normally, you're not getting even the 750 crown pack. So if you need crowns, this is technically decent value for money if you don't want to spend you know, a lot more on getting one of these larger ones. But let's see it actually in the game because obviously people are looking at it to see if there's value in the home. And I do want to give them credit too. They actually give you a really nice message when you purchase this DLC. And it's not just that they send you a message, right? Obviously, you buy something from the store, getting a piece of mail is not necessarily the selling point. But I do really like this. So let's talk about it. Greetings, I'm thrilled to welcome you to the Sea Bloom Villa. If you're a new homeowner and wondering where you should start, I recommend that you visit the villa to explore it. First, I left you a book uh, to read that gives you an overview of what you can do in your home. Next, I'd start decorating. Uh, you can visit furnishing merchants throughout Tamriel. You can find home goods and achievement furnishings in each major town. And for example, guilds often have furnishing for sale in their vendor. Harvesting and fishing may help you get um, that as well. And I thought this was really nice. I actually like when they give tips and pointers in the mail that they give out. Uh, so I really did like this. But let's actually go to the home. And so to note, this is a classic home, which means that you're going to get access to a decent amount of furnishings to put down 400 in total if you have ESO Plus, with 58 already being in there already. So I wanted to mention that too, because a lot of people don't know that even if you get a home, uh, sometimes you can actually pick up the furnishings here. You know, for example, these trees are all items that you could pick up and put inside your other homes. That's uh, so just something worth mentioning. It also comes with this table and this book, and I actually don't know what this says. Uh, so we're going to be going in kind of a blind here. And it actually really just summarizes what we mentioned inside of that message there, but it also breaks down master crafting stations, how you can put some of those in your home, how you can put bankers in your home. You can have guildmates come over. You can do all sorts of shenanigans with them. Uh, so this is actually a pretty decent handbook. I like when they give in-game tips that I could see myself suggesting to a player like hey one of the best ways to use a house is literally you teleport and you come right here you put your crafting stations here you put your banker here bing bang boom you come in you teleport in you could deconstruct everything you could start researching you could sell stuff to your merchant your banker or whatever that's the best way to use a home in my opinion but we'll do a quick kind of tour of the home since it's a bit unique we'll do the outside area first and you are an arter on i don't know if that's necessarily relevant to anybody but I think it's kind of a cool area, it gives off the, you know, beautiful elfish elitist vibes, but you know, you're a homeowner, so you can be part of the elite. And uh, overall, I would say it's a beautiful home. Um, these are also homes that are very easy to decorate just because they're small-ish in size, but they have lots of furniture that you could put in. I mean, 400 things to deck this bad boy out is going to be relatively easy. And I would be shocked if we didn't see this in some of the upcoming housing tournaments. I mean, you can see it's relatively, you know, nominal. Nothing that here that's really going to make your, uh, you know, things go crazy. And uh, unfortunately, you do jump off, you do die. And now on to the gold method, because let's be real, I put timestamps in here because 90% of you are going to skip to this portion of the video. But you may notice something inside the West Weld, and that is because like crack cocaine, people are sharing Westweld daily quests. And why is that? And that is because in this new update, we now have the ability, you can see right at the top here, to get 28 new furnishing plans, which can be acquired via the skin grad rewards coffers obtained by completing the Westweld world boss, incursion, or daily delve quest. Now there's new other things here too. Obviously I'll link the patch notes below, but all of those are not really going to affect the economy. We're going to skip past those. 
go back to our three boys here because all you need to do is come to this portion of Skingrad, which is in this portion of the Westworld area, and you're going to get access to these daily quests. And by completing these daily quests on as many characters as you want, or you can see people are sharing them, you're going to have a chance to get the brand new furnishing plans. If you get any furnishing plans from those rewards coffers, sell them immediately because they're going to be at their highest value when the least amount of people have them. It's like any it's like any zone, Leowin, for example. Everybody was clamoring for the Leowin plans. But now the majority of people that want the Leowin plans when Blackwood came out, they've got them. This is this is new. This is the highest. And the reason why this almost deserved its own dedicated video, I'm just grouping it with other things, is because it's a housing update. People want these plans. People, I know somebody who's done 700 daily quests and the update for console has been out for less than 12 hours because they pre-did them on multiple accounts. That's how crazy people are planning these plans to be. So if you want to be one of those individuals to strike while the iron's hot, and even if you play on PC and this has been out longer, it's still always profitable to farm furnishing plans. They're always going to be decently resellable, especially right now with this new furnishing uh, update, housing update, etc. But there was something missing from this update that we were supposed to get today that we didn't that I think will also impact the economy. And that is ZeniMax is hosting a home tours contest from September 4th which you'll note is today, and all the way through to next month on the 1st. Now, they have not actually released what this is yet. I have been refreshing Facebook, but this is important to note because this is going to deeply impact the economy. If you've got things like heartwood, mundane runes, alchemy resin, furnishing plants, furniture, this is just going to stimulate the economy to a uh, existential degree. So there's quite a few of you guys that watch these videos that have no interest in furnishings, that have no interest in you know decorating a house, and that is okay. Because guess what? You know what you probably do want is this thing called cash money gold. And I want you to have that because cash money gold is the most universal currency. You need to buy a set that's uh you know groundable with Telvar, go to Mornhold, buy it. You need sets that things that come from alliance points, go get it, buy it. You need consumables, buy from the market with gold. Gold is the universal resource. It is the greatest resource, and that is why I encourage you guys to utilize this time period either to A, decorate a home, make it beautiful, utilize this time period to potentially farm rare plans and get the cool little furniture pieces from the new home, decent value for crowns as well, or just say, I don't like housing, and then just profit off of all of this stuff that's going on. Go farm mundane roots, slap on a, a speed set, head on down to Craglorn and just start picking stuff off the ground and you'll be golden. You know, start looking for some of those, uh, you know, points to get some uh, furnishings, eat that heartwood, get those mundane roots and you'll be good. Uh, but that actually is kind of where, you know, we leave this video as always, you know, just make sure you're sharing these quests, uh, make sure that you're doing these quests. If you're interested, whether or not you want to sell them, use them for yourself is as always up to you. I just want to provide you the information as we know it, uh, because there's lots of good things to talk about here, and I'm just excited to break this down for you, even though we're talking about three very unique things in this video. But everyone, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, because we're doing our three giveaway drawings, but I'm also just curious, what interested you in this video the most? Did you like the $4.99 tax write-off, just because you're like, I don't want to buy it, but I'm curious as to like what it looks like? Was it the fact that you can get a whole bunch of gold doing these little hooligans here in front of me or was it the fact that there's supposed to be a housing contest information released today but uh we don't know what that's gonna look like yet we're just kind of waiting just to see what it is and we have no idea what the reward structure is gonna look like and then you know the economic information and how that will affect the economy is a big uh, mystery still because if they offer some cracked rewards i could see the economy even getting a little crazier for a lot of this stuff so Thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, we're doing those three giveaway drawings. All you need to do to enter is leave a comment in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed slash following on Twitch and Twitter. And if you would want, search for the hidden word. We did find the hidden word for last month, so I'm going to post the winners here tomorrow for last month. But anything you post and like and subscribe and do all the good stuff will be entered in for this month, and there'll be another new hidden word. I might hide it as well as I did the last one just because it was fun to give clues on which video it was on. 
Uh, so thank you guys one last time, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. You better remember to like and subscribe to Jake Clips. Or you should. I might have to pluck your eyes if you don't. Or, better yet, I'll skip rope with your entrails. Do it now. Subscribe. Ta-ta. Off with you.